Flowdesk is an email marketing software that have recently released a new feature called Flowdesk Checkout. This enables business owners to create landing pages, sell products and collect email addresses all in one system without having to have a website. Why is this useful? Well, if you are just starting out, you may not have the time or budget yet to start building out a full website, but it can still be really useful to have somewhere to direct people to, to collect their email addresses and potentially sell a product. You could use it to test an MVP or minimum viable product by creating a prototype or first draft of your product and testing to see if the demand is there by putting up a sales page and waiting to see if people buy. You could also use this to pre-sell a product or crowdfund a product so that you have people proving that there's a demand for this by paying you money and then you can go and put that towards actually creating that product. You can also use this to sell workshops, services, or just build hype and a community around what it is you're planning to offer. Or maybe you have a website already, but it's not very easy to update. And so you just want to have a system where you can quickly create sales landing pages that easily connect to an email marketing software so that you can start collecting email addresses, building an email list, selling products without the need for a website developer to help you. So first off, if you've never heard of Flowdesk or you're wondering whether it's the right fit for you in terms of the email marketing software as well, check out this page on my website where I have a full guide about Flowdesk. And if you use my link to sign up before the 1st of November, 2022, you can get 50% off for life of your Flowdesk email marketing and Flowdesk checkout plan. That means you can get the bundle of both softwares for just $29.50 per month for life with unlimited email subscribers, unlimited emails, unlimited products, customers, sales pages, you name it. I'll leave all of these links in the video description below. Okay, so the first step once you have signed up for Flowdesk checkout is we need to go into our settings and make sure that we can actually start to accept payments. Now the payment processor that Flowdesk checkout uses is Stripe. It doesn't matter if you have a Stripe account already or if you don't have one yet. You should be able to just click a button here to connect it or set up a brand new one. I've gone halfway through setting mine up, so I'm just going to open up. We just want to follow the steps to basically authorize Stripe to connect with Flowdesk. There will be some ID verification steps so that they can check who you are. It doesn't matter if you've used Stripe before or if you're starting from fresh. So just follow through with these steps to finish the connection to Flowdesk. Once you've finished authorizing Stripe, you should then see this green bar saying that it's connected. So that means you are now able to start taking payments through Flowdesk checkout. The next step is you're going to want to create some terms and conditions around selling your product. If we click edit, there are some template terms in here, but you'll want to edit this to fit with your business. Maybe add in a returns policy in here as well if you're selling a physical product. Then what we want to do is head over to the audience section of Flowdesk and click on segments. And we want to create a new segment here for the product that we're selling. So in this case, I'm going to call it my day planner. You can color code it, click save, and then that creates a segment. And this is where the email address of anyone who buys your product is going to end up. They will also go into your all subscribers um, segment. That's kind of where every single email address on your account goes, but you do need to set up a separate segment for each of your products. Then let's head over to the checkout area and actually set up our sales page. So there are some really cool templates that Flowdesk have created for you to get started with. Um, you can also go and choose what type of product you're selling here, maybe a masterclass, maybe a service. You can also use the checkout uh, system to sell a freebie effectively or not sell it, but uh, give away a freebie. Or you can choose to just take people straight to the checkout page and just alter that. But in this case, I'm going to use one of the templates for our sales page. And I think I'm going to go with this one because it's nice and simple. So now this is where we can edit it to fit with our branding and add in our content. We've got the options of the kind of three step process here up at the top. We have the sales page, which is where people are going to view information about our product and then click to buy it. We then have the checkout page, which is where those buy buttons are going to take people where they can fill in their payment details and see an order summary and then the delivery. So that's gonna be where they can view a receipt. If it's a digital product, you can add more information about the product here or just add more information that they might need to know once they have purchased from you. And we can select each of these steps in the process to customize. So let's just click the customize button and it will open up this sales page. And you can just click on each of the sections 
to make changes. But before we do that, let's actually head over to the setup section of the checkout. And this is where you can set all of the information to do with your product in terms of the technical setup, like the price, whether you want it to be on sale, whether you have a specific image of this product, the product name, etc. So in this case, this is my daily planner that I'm going to be selling for £10. It's not going to be on sale and I don't want to make it free, but you could sell freebies or give away freebies in this way as well. I'm just going to upload an image for this product and then give it a name and a description here. Then if we move along to the next section, this is where you can actually add an upsell to your page. So maybe you're thinking if someone is interested in this product, then they might be interested in something else. You can offer an upsell here. I'm not going to be setting this up in this demonstration. So we'll move on to the contact information section. And this is where you can customize what information you want to collect. So first name, last name, and your opt-in message. So automatically anyone who buys this product is going to be added to that segment that we um, created just now and you can select that here so let's choose the day planner segment but you can also give them the chance to opt into a different segment as well so maybe you have a weekly newsletter segment for example um, maybe that's just your general subscriber segment that you've created before you can give people the option to sign up for that as well and change the message allowing them to opt in then you can also create a segment for your upsell, but again, we're not having an upsell in this case. If we click onto the testimonial, this is where you can add in a review or a testimonial to help encourage people to buy this product. In this case, I'm just gonna leave this. Um, I don't really need to have one on the checkout page, I don't think, so I'm just gonna leave it. And you can also set up discount codes for people as well so that they can input this into the checkout area. In this case, I'm just gonna leave that as well. Now that we've completed the setup, we can now go about editing the sales page. So in this case, we've got an, a large image uh, kind of block here on the right hand side. So in order to add my product image, I'm just going to click on it and click upload image. You can see there's this kind of phone outline here, and that's because this block is set up to display a mock-up. But if we just select the block settings here and then switch that off, that means that's then gonna go away. So if you see that, don't worry, always do check out the block settings that you're looking at so that you can um, make adjustments that you need. In this case, we could toggle the way around that these uh, blocks or sections of the block display. Um, you can change the background color. So I'm just gonna set this all up in my brand colors that I've set up in my color palette here. In order to edit the text, you just want to click on each of the sections and then you can choose what fonts you want. You can choose the size, alignment um, and also more block settings uh, here as well. So I'm just going to edit all of the text here to fit in with my product. So now that I've edited the text, I can also click on the buttons as well to change the style of these to fit in more with my branding. So I'm going to do that um, as well. Just by editing all of these settings here on the right hand side, you can change things like the border of buttons, um, the style, the fonts as well, the font colors, basically customizing anything that you would be able to on a website as well. In terms of the links for the buttons, that is automatically just going to take people to the checkout page. So you can leave that as it is. Then as I scroll down, you can see there are other blocks down here that are ready for me to customize. You may not need all of these on a sales page. You could actually just click on each one and you can access the block settings by click clicking the pen icon here and it will open up this space here on the right. You can duplicate certain blocks as well, which will just create a copy. You can reorder them and move them up and down, or you can just delete them if there are some that you really don't need. But their templates are great if you are someone who has maybe never done any website design before or you're not sure what should actually go onto a sales page and what people want to see this can be a really really good place to start but for me i'm just going to click on most of these and get rid of them because i don't want a long scrolling uh sales page in this case i just want it to be quite simple if you get rid of a section and you're actually like, oh, I could have used that, you can just click the blue add block button. And then there are loads of pre-designed layouts for different sections that you could add to the sales page, such as an FAQ section or an image gallery section with more information. 
um, a list section if you want to list out what's included in your product um, pricing there are so many different cool things that you can add to these sales pages really really fun to play around i'm just as i said going to keep it really simple in this okay so i've customized this i'm going to keep it really really simple and then i'm going to move on to customizing the checkout page by selecting this up at the top and you can literally just click on any element to edit it automatically it's plugged in my logo which i've set up in my flowdesk brand settings but you can change that you can again edit the setup of the contact information and details you want to collect and the only thing that you really need to be here is actually the payment details and collecting people's information what you can do is select anywhere on the back background and it will open up these settings here on the right hand side where you can toggle all of these sections to be on or off if you don't want them to be there for example I don't want the upsell um, I'm going to leave the logo as it is I do want people to be able to opt into my email newsletter um, in this case there's not a discount code so I'm not going to leave space for that I don't want to add a testimonial but I do want to keep the terms and conditions there because I might have added my returns policy in there so you can keep it really really stripped back and simple like this then if we move on to the delivery page this is where people can see their receipt and the details of their order and there's also some other sections here as well now again you may not need all of these sections you may want to edit them so just click anywhere on the background and then again over here on the right hand side you're going to see some options so you could toggle on to display your logo there um, you might want to leave this instruction section here for people's next steps in this case because it's a physical product they don't really need any instructions um, I'm just going to leave it there if you were selling a digital product this is where you can um, have the space to actually provide that for them so you would select the button here and then go to download and then link to the file uh, that you're wanting to give them as a freebie but in this case I'm just going to click on the background again I can toggle that off because there is no free download with this purchase there wasn't an upsell but if you were offering an upsell and someone did purchase it then this block would automatically show up but in this case I haven't added an upsell so there's no point in having this here however you can click on each of these sections and customize it as well just so that you know if you are setting that up you can change the background color change the whether there's an image header paragraph button and of course you can click into all of the text and the button to change that um, replace the text and also have your own customized font settings over here as well but I'm just going to switch that off there's then the space to offer another upsell or another kind of bonus offer on this page so if people didn't take you up on your original upsell if you did add that you can actually give them another way to either sign up for a freebie or buy another paid product of yours if you wanted to um, and then you could link to that uh, new sales page if you wanted to or a new checkout page or somewhere else entirely it's up to you but I'm going to switch that off so that we've just got this really simple receipt area here of course I'm going to want to change all of the branding the only thing that you really can't edit on here um, is the actual receipt details but you can change this text up at the top change what that says again upload an image of the product that they've just purchased and then all we need to do is hit publish and that will make this available for someone to access at this link so flowdesk will automatically give you a link so i'm going to copy this test it out and paste it into my browser and this will send people directly to your sales page now what they can do is click the button to buy they go straight to the checkout and they can fill in all of those details and then once they pay they will see that receipt page at that point you will also receive an email saying that someone has purchased from you so you can then go ahead and ship out your product or do whatever you need to do for that if we just exit back into the flowdesk section here we can see that in the checkouts area this sales page is all set up you can click the three dots up here to make any changes to it edit it move it to a folder rename it turn it off so that it's not accessible anymore or just click edit to make any design changes as well and you'll be able to see when you click on the analytics as well how many visitors have viewed this page how many orders you've got and how much money you've made from here as well again once someone has gone through that process they've purchased from you they've seen that delivery page with their receipt they will then be added to the segment that you connected up there 
And what you can also do as well is then set up a workflow that will automatically deliver emails to anyone in that segment as well. So you could actually set up a new workflow for customers who have bought that product, which will send them automated emails, maybe checking in on them, maybe offering them a discount for their next purchase, whatever it is. I do have a whole extra video on Flowdesk workflows, so go and check that out. This is an awesome way to streamline your whole marketing and selling process. So definitely take advantage of the 50% off for life offer before the 1st of November, 2022. All of the links to do that are gonna be in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.